All right, today we're going to learn how to make a snowflake ornament in Tinkercad. As always, we start with an empty work plane and I switch to orthographic view and drag out a ruler so I can see what the measurements are of what I'm doing. Zoom in a bit, drag out a box, change it until it's two millimeters high, two millimeters high, two millimeters high. 2 millimeters wide. Yeah, maybe we'll leave it 4. Back to 2. Since we're making snow, let's make it nice and pretty and white. Okay, we'll leave it like that. I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt and drag it down to make a copy of it. And This one will make me 10 millimeters long. Now, what I want to build up here is a library of pieces I can use so I don't have to keep recreating every part of the snowflake. Uh, so, I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to take the initial piece, I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it and rotate it one tick, and then hit Control D and fill out all the possible angles it can be. I'm going to do the same thing with this uh, smaller piece, hit Control D, rotate it one tick, and then fill out all the possible lengths it can be. So that's going to be my library and I won't have to keep making pieces. Let's move these over here. Now the next thing is the shape of the snowflake. You should decide before you get started what size you want the snowflake to be. I'm going to make mine be 80 millimeters across. Now a typical snowflake, at least for decorations, has six sides, kind of like that. You can use this as to think that we've got a hexagon here, uh, and what we want is to build one side of this and then multiply it six times so we don't have to make six identical pieces, which would be a nightmare. So in order to do that, I'm going to divide this into six triangle-shaped pieces radiating out from the center. And fortunately, there's a roof piece that is going to handle that for us. As always, it always comes out facing whatever direction you don't want it to. But I'm going to rotate it around like this. Now if you notice, if you put it just about in the center, that here at 20 by 10, it's too big for its sixth of a hexagon. But if I make it 20 by 20, it's just about perfect. You can see that it forms a sixth of a fraction of a hexagon. So I'm going to use this, but since I decided I want my entire snowflake to be 80 millimeters across, that means I want this triangle to be 40 millimeters across. So I'm just going to hold down Shift so it stays the same shape and drag it out until it's 40 by 40. Good. Now that's going to be my guide for the shape I build. Let's shrink it down to a bit smaller. Then I'm going to just sink it down below the build plane so it's out of the way. And it, I'm not going to use it other than as a visual guide for the shape I want to build. I can add anything I want in this triangle and it will not overlap with and affect the other pieces of the snowflake we're building. Uh, I'm going to actually select it and hit this lock key up here so that it doesn't accidentally get moved. Wait, before I do that, let's undo that. Let's duplicate it so I can see the other side of the of the snowflake. So I select it, I hit Control D, I move it out here a ways, and then I hit M to mirror it, and now it's flipped. I'm going to select both these and lock them in place so that nothing I do up above will affect them. And now it's just a question of building one sixth of a snowflake. I've got all the parts I need, I've got the shape I want to build out to. The key here is holding down the Alt key when I click these pieces from my library. If I do that and I drag them, it automatically creates a new one and I don't have to create a new piece every time. So I can go like this and I can just somewhat randomly build out the pieces that I think will make for an interesting snowflake. And if I took more time and did this, I'd probably get a prettier snowflake, but I just want to show you the technique so that you can do your own and spend as much or as little time as you like making it pretty. I don't know.
about maybe there. Maybe there'll be an overlap. I feel like Bob Ross. Oh, that's an ugly piece. Let's try another one. Every time I pick up a piece, I'm holding down Alt. And let's go this way a little further. Okay, that's going to be just beyond 80, but whatever. Yeah, it's pretty ugly. Maybe we'll go down here a bit. And one more, maybe like so. That's really going to be the world's funniest looking snowflake. But the key thing is that we are building up a shape that no one else has built before. So it'll be unique like snowflakes are supposed to be. Okay, now I'm going to select all those pieces I added, except for this one central bar. I don't want that guy. I'm going to select all the pieces I added to the half of that. And if you notice, it lights up the green triangle in purple. It doesn't matter. It's not going to affect it. Uh, once I select all those pieces, I hit Control D, and then I hit M to mirror them, and I click on this arrow right here to flip them over. Now I'm just going to move them down. All right, hit to M again. M again to get out of mirror mode. And I'm hitting the arrow keys to bring this down until it's a symmetric shape. Kind of see what I got there. Not bad, eh? Let's grab all these pieces I've added at once and hit Control G to group them. Hit M to mirror them. Ah, no, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I grab the wing of the snowflake, I hit Control D, and I mirror that around the x axis. And then I move it over until it's roughly symmetric with the other one which is kind of like that. Let's move our library of pieces out of the way here and select these two wings of the snowflake. I hit control D and I'm going to rotate it. Now there's no actual tick for 60 of the major ticks. You can get the minor ticks out here if you pull outside the circle. And then I hit control D again and it's most of a snowflake. Now you can see that they aren't joined in the middle. I could tackle that a few ways. I could move th these two initial pieces closer to the center and then duplicate it. Uh, there would be some overlap with the neighboring pieces. Or I can drop in a hexagon like I did before. Grab a tube, put it roughly in the center, click on sides, make it six, and I can adjust it. It automatically starts with a wall thickness of 2.5. I change it to two so it's just like the rest of the snowflake. I gotta change the height of it right here to 2 so it's the rest of the snowflake matches it and let's make it white so it's pretty and I can get a sense for what it'll look like when it's done and I don't care too much about that it's alright how about if I adjust the radius to 12 good I'm gonna hit control D I'm gonna make the radius 6 now oh, there's two rings in the middle that's kinda pretty okay so let's grab all these Control G to group them, and voila, we have a snowflake. It's 82 millimeters wide by 87 millimeters tall, which uh, just has to do with the fact that hexagons don't measure the same height as they do width. Uh, and because it's an ornament, I want to add a ring to hang it from. Let's do this with this guy up here. Changes radius to 5, maybe. Is that going to be pretty? Yeah, I don't know if I like that, but it, it works. Still too tall. Click on it. Change its height parameter to 2. Make it white just for visual. That's really not very pretty. Let's get rid of these green guys. They're kind of annoying me. Unlock them, delete them. Maybe what I want is the circle to be over here. That'll probably make for a prettier ornament. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this whole thing and I'm going to rotate it 30 degrees. Click on that, hit 30. And now I can put this right in the middle and I can actually use the alignment key. I select them both, hit L. They're already aligned. And that's going to be our ornament. 
I don't think it's especially pretty, but it's certainly unique. Uh, and if you care to take your time and not try to do a tutorial while you're actually building it, you could probably build something much prettier than that. So there it is. Uh, there's our Snowflake tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'd like to see what you can make.